what literacy means for me is the ability to, of course, to read, to write, and the purpose of reading and writing is really what's interesting to me about literacy because it's really about empowerment at the end of the day. Literacy is the ability to have many experiences. And in fact, when I write, I try to give readers an experience they may never have. For me, literacy has been my living for, uh, it's, it's provided my living for the past couple of decades as, as an editor and now as a full-time writer, uh, the author of about a dozen books. And, but more importantly, it has really been my gateway to the world. Literacy is the opening of a world to be able to read and to be able to understand, to be able to move about. Uh, it, is, it is very, I can't imagine not being literate. Hi, my name is Johnson Chong. I'm the author of Sage Sapien, From Karma to Dharma. Well, this is the one most recently published, and I've got little post-it notes in it to tell me which parts I want to read to you. A uh, picture on the book is me with my nursemaid or my grandmother. It's not clear which the artist thought that was. Uh, but the book begins with an explanation that I was born in Hawaii, in Honolulu, in 1937. So today I'd like to read to you from my new book, Brothers, Sisters, Strangers, Sibling Estrangement and the Road to Reconciliation. So I'm going to be reading today from my book, Drowning with Others. I know the author is Linda Keir, and I may not look like a Linda, but I am the Keir in Linda Keir. Uh, Linda is the name of my co-author, Linda Joffe Hull, and this is, well, this is our second book together. We've actually actually written three together. My name is Sylvester Boyd, and I'm going to read you an excerpt from my book, which is set in the Deep South in the year 1925. Uh, it is uh, about my aunt. The, the character Estelle is, is my aunt, and she was born in Money, Mississippi. So I'm going to read you an excerpt from my book, The Road from Money. 